Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill and welcome back to some European Universalis for Russia in the Third Rome expansion. It's the 4th of November, 5077. It's actually not an expansion, it's an immersion pack, Colin Misconception. And I've had a haircut and beard trim. I decided to go for a new look, much shorter, less hair around. Uh, hope you guys like it, you'll be seeing more of it to come. So, like I said, it's 1577, the last episode we beat up the Commonwealth, and by beat up, I mean just barely survived. It was fucking awful. It was literally tragic. Please make it stop. We've got a, we've got aristocratic ideas, but I'm not really sure they helped us out that much. I mean, uh, the manpower... Uh, fine. I think next military idea we get, because obviously we will be getting a military idea, I think something like quality or offensive. Perhaps offensive because obviously a better general would be delicious, and siege ability and discipline are always good. But quality would give me lots of infantry combat ability, more an extra morale of navies, artillery, and extra discipline. A part of me kind of just wants to get defensive so I can get rid of this freaking attrition. Because land region minus 25% is really delicious. Especially when you have a large number of soldiers like I do. But we'll see that in the future. So we have to worry about the Ottomans as well. Uh, we just genuinely have to worry about them. We are allied to nobody. We have a lot of little vassals. And we are very slowly annexing them. We're annexing Crimea right now. To get a lot of extra delicious cores. We have the Timurids. Uh, the next war we need to fight is against the Persians. To return more cores to the Timurids. Now... I'm pretty scared about this, but I think we can just do it without really much influence. Although my lack of manpower is very unpleasant. So where is... What is Persia's troop count? It is a 16,000. So that's fine. So Timurids cannot handle it themselves, because we desperately need to annex the Timurids now. They need to freaking go. Like, oh god, they need to go. Because it is a horde, 10%. It's just so unpleasant, and they have so much liberty desire. Like, oh god. I have to placate, I'm gonna have to placate local rulers, like, just constantly. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, there's gotta be somewhere. Hopefully we can, maybe we can get them in some... Ooh, you know, if we take on their debt, that'd be pretty good. Uh, we're gonna turn off all our maintenance for a little while, which would be great to try and, uh, get up a little bit. Uh, and, actually, better yet, what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna take a loan of these ducats, and then I'm actually gonna take on the debts of the Timurids. And that pays off 15% Liberty Desire right there, so that's really helpful. Because I, they were just going to pay off the debts on their own anyway, so I didn't want to do that. The Burrs are unfortunately a little bit pissed off, which isn't great. Uh, we are going to ask for contribution. I could just ask for contribution. I didn't need to pay off a loan at all. I get a loan. I am stupid. That's okay. Uh, we're going to get that money from them, from the Burrs, which is great. And then we are going to maybe pay off another one of our loans. Actually, first of all, what I'm going to do, this is very cool. The Ottomans, the only way they're going to get to me, if they decide to declare war on me, is through my vassal Georgia, which is a fort on mountains, or through here, and they could just walk in. So instead, I'm going to build a fort on Grozny. Now, the AI break cheating and going through forts only does actually have logic to it. And the logic is, if the AI is able, I'm sure you guys have seen this before, where the AI will just walk right through your forts. The, um, the AI is only able to walk through your forts if it has another path that could go through your land without needing the forts somewhere else in the map. If, if it were theoretically possible for the Ottomans to go around all these countries and go here and go through my land, then it would be able to walk directly through any forts it wanted to get to that point. Because it's bullshit. But there is no other way for them to get around. They're surrounded by enemies. This is the only entrance, except for any crappy naval invasions, which we can deal with in its own. So I'm able to fort in Grozny, which will stop them, force them to siege down Grozny, and I can hit them in the mountains. Just in case, because we are not going to be fighting any Ottomans for a while. Now, um, yeah, we're going to need to try and get our armed forces over there ready to fight the Timurid. Not the Timurids, but the Persians. So let's get our forces that way. We're going to send half. Let's just hope this goes okay. Now, we are going to have to take away some of the um, some of these doodles. All right, where's the states? states? My nose is so itchy. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I don't know why sometimes recently my nose has been so itchy. <laughs> Where's the state? I'm sure I've gone right past it. State, state, states, buildings, trade, development, players, rivals, federations, coalition, opinion, blah, blah, blah. state edicts, metropolitan uh, states. There we go. God damn. I always call them states. Okay, clergy, burrs. So we need to remove a couple provinces from the burrs because they're going to rebel. And the next one doesn't go away for, like, a million years. Yeah, we're going to have to take a couple of these. So that one, that one, that one. All, right, all of these trade ones, they are not. So we can take off this one. Yay. That's no, fine. Doesn't even matter. 
No big deal. And the boyers are a little pissed off, but they'll they'll get over it. Okay. And away we go. You go back to protecting trade in Novgorod. Now, how is our trade, actually? So, our trade capital is in Novgorod, and we have a very large amount of money here. All merchants are collecting. Actually, now, where are other merchants? Hmm. They are collecting from trade. We earn 62 here. That doesn't seem like a good use of money. So, 2273. And straight away, it jumps up by over one and a half docket, so that's way more valuable. Uh, perfect. We can stay at a few places, like Ishim. Okay. Da, 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 da. Hello, Ishim. Why are you so good? Do you have high development? Yeah, it does, actually. You have pretty high development. That's okay. And tech-wise, of course, we are still suffering the problems of some of the institutions. However, printing press will be able to be adopted in when we have 1,800 ducats, which will honestly be pretty soon. We're also converting like absolute mad, which is amazing. I just... And oh, by the way, the reason we were not able to do Bryansk is because you can only release it if it's of the primary culture type, and they are not the correct culture. Oh, God. Manpower modifier, tax modifier. Uh, I will gain the tax modifier because I don't care about money. So the primary uh, is Bielorussian. Oh, we don't care. How you doing, Sweden? You suck? Of course you do. Hey, we can declare war on Sweden independently now. Of course, not until 1584, but that's fine. All right. Obviously, we're going to be spending quite a long time now just kind of getting back some of our manpower. But we can also spend some time getting some cash together. We're going to need to beat up the Timurids, uh, re Rebels, but we're also then going to beat up, need to beat up Persia. And then once we've done that, we can start to really blossom. National Unrest Advisor with an admin focus, which is weird because we have influence ideas. Hmm. Although, to be honest, we don't even need to focus in uh, diplomatic because we're going to get that eventually. It's not really that super important. I basically only need the vassals to help conquering things, make it a bit easier. So I don't actually care about it. I guess admin tech focus is probably a good idea, considering I would like to get up to the next to tech 18 so I can get the next idea group and get a bit more militarily strong. Okie dokie. We're building up those ducats. Holland's in a golden era. We've gained a core province. Grant export licenses. Commonwealth will like us more, but we'll lose legitimacy. We'll gain tax modifier for 20 years. We actually desperately need legitimacy because my king is not a legitimate king. No, he is not. Sorry. That helps out. Uh, we do have some rebel risk, but that's okay. And we're starting to pay off some loans, which is great. I'm going to boost stability. Obviously, the Strelzi is really increasing that cost, which is unfortunate, but... Ottomans don't like to see this Russia arrival. Wow. I don't know whether that to be a good thing or to be insulted that they think I'm not worthy of their time. What a dick move. We're going to grab all these colonies... Oh my goodness, look at that. Mm, really spreading, aren't we? Maybe we can grab exploration ideas and start colonizing the new world or something. That'd be dumb. Alright. So, I just want to wait a little bit. Ooh, a holy war against Korea. Ha! <laughs> we technically share a border with Korea. That's incredible. They're actually fighting Ming. Oh, they're fighting... Ming is fighting Korea to make them a tribute. Expected. All right. Oh, man. Rebels in Kazan. We gotta be a dick. Um, okay, so I think I do want to just invade Persia right now and just try and spread this around a little bit. Hello. Hi, Commonwealth. I'm gonna kill you again in about six years' time. The war with the Commonwealth will be definitely very interesting. I mean, we're gonna have to fight it much smarter than we did last time. Much smarter. We need to keep all our forces in, like, one centric area. Otherwise, all of will die and be very sad. Also, they're not actually allied to anybody except for Brandenburg. So, we can just grab a whole chunk of them. Although, to be honest, I would have preferred being able to keep it with Sweden. It's pretty annoying. Tell you what, we'll just give a bunch of these stuff to Peskov. Yeah, we'll just give all these provinces to Peskov. And then the rest we'll get to Lithuania when we release them. No big deal. Alright, let's go... Um... Let's go take care of Persia so we can kind of get over that.
Uh, no. Okay, make sure we're, we're trying to time the attrition here a little bit better. Ah, that's a general. That's unfortunate. Uh, so they have a 3-2. That's fine. To be honest, my king is a bit shit, but advisor cost reduction is very nice, so... God, look at that reinforcement cost. What the fuck? Please don't fire. Please don't fire. Also, we got a new we got patriarchal authority, so we could get uh, unrest reduction, harsh treatment cost. Bam. There we go. That helps out a lot. God, why is Kazan always rebelling against me? E. I just really don't want to deal with this. Chabarski. Nope. No more rebelling for you. Next one is Swede. Well, okay. Swedish Separatists. That's fair. Eighth and fourth. Okay. So we're going to wait a couple days. Never time that right. Hey, I'm trying to click here. Well, that was easy. Uh, let's go over here. And you go over here. Much better. It has indeed caused some Swedish rebellions. Oh, look at that. We have 33k just sitting here. Mostly cannons, but that's okay. I forgot I had 33k of Strelzi sitting here. Nice. Let's combine some of these stacks a little bit. Make sure we don't have to deal too much attrition. Alright, there we are. And once we're over there, we'll just declare war very quick. And we'll make the goal, I don't know, bam, sure. Surprisingly, we're actually doing okay with our attrition. And away we go. Didn't call anyone else in, did they? No, no one cares. Good, because no one cares about them, basically. Oh, a 5-3 general, nice. Wait, who's got the better siege? This guy does. Mm, I want to make sure I have the better siege on the ma on that uh, province, because that's, that's the main pr thing we need to siege. I actually don't know where the capital is right now. Oh, hey, look, there are armies. Hoi. Found you. No artillery here. Oh, dear. No artillery here either. Oh, shit. What's their tech? 12 against my 14. I think we'll be fine. Let's go send this guy this way. Alright, let's do it this way. We'll send some dudes. Have some fun. Have a little party here and there. Wreck some face. Kill some butts. You know how it is. We'll have a good time. Oh, they're going to go right there. That's unfortunate. Is that their capital? What is this? That is a dick move, buddy. Dick move. Quite frankly. Well, I guess we'll just stand there and siege them down. Because they're just going to hide on that island then. Okay, uh, then. Oh my god, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Why would you attack them? Rostov, why? What is the thinking here? What is the strategy? Where are these rebels going? Where are they going? In here? Why the fuck are you doing that? Ah, they're gonna go this way. You son of a bitch. Yeah, why Karelia? It's fine. We don't care. As long as the rebels die, we actually don't care what happens. So, Ah, I took the general away. Wrong choice, Audra Hill. Wrong choice. But you made your bed. You get on there. You get on there. And you get on there. Everything's okay. And now you have relatively ten prestige or four in spider detection. Don't care about four in spider detection because no one can beat us in any armed combat. So, it's fine. 
We're just gonna return a bunch of cores. Mongolia has the claim, the gall to claim stuff. Really, Mongolia? Really? Is that what you want to do, my friend? I don't think it is. I just don't think it is. Oh, we lost a bunch of claims. That's unfortunate. Unfortunately awesome. It is actually quite unfortunate, though. Uh, it's unfortunate we're not making very much money. Uh, where have the Persian armies gone? They appear to have gone somewhere else. Have they been granted access by these lads? If not... Oh! A unique event. The treasury reform and the abolition of the Kormlin system. Some of the most important Russian reforms of government were instituted by Ivan IV. Ivan built the works of Ivan III. Oh, he built on the works. He didn't build Ivan III's works. And bound the Pomisti class even closer to the monarchy. He also created a separate chamber of finance directed at his proposal, which provided certain efficiency in the in and outflow of cash. The abolition of the Kormlin system, a payment system for the provincial administration, where salaries were paid in natura directly from the hands of the peasants, and the redressing of the provincial administration reforms organization made the monarchy much more efficient and powerful. Unfortunately for Russia, these reforms were not enough to hold the state afloat after the costly and disastrous Livonian Wars at the end of Ivan the Fourth's reign. Reform the treasury and abolish Komyan, lose administrative power, regain tax modifier, and tech cost reduction. Wow. For 25 years. That's a, a hefty chunk of change. And also admin tech cost. So that's losing 50 power, but the, the cost of an admin tech all right, right now, at plus 50 to 51% because of ahead of time, is 684. So... That's going to be like 400 power anyway. So that's already just from one tech. And I'm going to get at least three techs in the next 25 years. So that's definitely worth it. Or I can just reform the treasury. No, I want both, man. Give me both. 50 admin power is fucking worth it. Jesus. That is... That is good. So what is it? A payment system provincial administration where salaries were paid in natural directly from the hands of the peasants and the redressing of the provincial administration. Oh. Basically, peasants' money was paid directly to officials rather than being collected by a separate system and then paid to them. Korm, I'm looking it up. Korm Lenji. I, 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 no, wait. Korm Len, no, Korm <laughs> Len Iji. That was, and it's only in Russian. That is, oh, it's an Estonian. It means nutrition. A system introduced in the Middle Ages, which the maintenance of the prince and the congregation lasted on the soldiers of the local population. The term was used and used on the basis of a survey of British sociologists by local people and some historians describing corruption in the U.S. Tsar and Russia. Because the ruling prince of Moscow did not have means to support the managers of distant areas since they would manage the subordinate areas, this meant the administration allowed a deputy to send remote localities to local food. I think most of the translation errors there. Widespread in the 14th, 15th centuries, it was annulled and declared unlawful by Evan Dorm, who introduced taxes directly to state treasury. Basically, it means we tax people directly. I mean, that makes sense, right? I should learn more about the Russian... Yeah, he's Ivan the Terrible was the guy who was ruling around this time. He died in 1584. They were going to do both, man. That's awesome. Oh, there's the capital. We definitely make sure we're seizing the capital. I still don't know where their armies are. I don't care. Siege, siege, siege. Siege, 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 siege. A pre yearly prestige and chance of a new heir. Love it. Thank you, Lord. Legitimacy goes up really high because of Russian ambition. So, every year, 2.19. Ah, uh, yes. We have a lot of soldiers. Christ. We really do. Some more rubble risk, unfortunately, the Smolensk peasants, but they're not really anything to, deal with, to be concerned with. Just head over there and start getting these guys out. Is that a single unit of artillery? Is that all they could muster? Really? I don't, I don't care I'm fighting a mountain. It doesn't even matter. We can raise... I can do this. Oh, we can reduce it to autonomy in all our provinces. God, that's useful to have. My God. Eh, it's still a little manpower loss, but it's okay. Okay, dokie. So, next up would be either the Swedish or the Commonwealth Wars. The problem being, of course, that to call in Sweden would call in a large variety of homies. And we do not want that. But if we just fight the Commonwealth, it's only just the tiny bits of Hungary and Brandenburg. So we could do that. We could fight the Commonwealth and then fight Sweden separately, because I would like to try and get Lithuania. 
That would be quite cool. Also, there's more claims I want, so... Do I, I do have claims, don't I, if I declare war with these guys? Yes. Of course, I have to wait for the truce, but that's okay. <laughs> Honestly, this is not a concern. Obviously, our manpower will be an issue, but we're fine. We're fine in that regard. We just have to wait a little while. Uh, let's send over here and start the sieges over there. The native assimilation in Stenovi. Oh, hundred revelation. Thanks, buddy. Um, Afghanistan. Oh, come on. I just don't understand this. I hate the tributary system. But, uh, uh, Benjamin Magnus recently put up in his little update video a little bit of talking a little bit about the tributary system of thir uh, of um, Mandate of Heaven. And my god, it is absolutely bullshit. How on earth can the game justify me being able to tributize Afghanistan? There is simply no way that makes any sense. All these people are tributized. That is complete and total horseshit. Get the fuck out. Ugh, alright. Skilled diplomat. Use the most delicate missions or diplomatic power. I'll gain diplo power, thank you. I don't care about relations with people. People can go fuck themselves for all I care. Oh, I just realized that my forts are probably activated. Oh, they haven't. That's cool. It has some the boyers. Ten influence. That's unfortunate. Stay modifier. Stay modifier. Stay modifier. It's fine. Hello. Peace treaty. Oh, isn't that sweet? That's so sweet. Who knew we gave a shit? Yes, if only we cared to leave in the slightest little bit. Yep, and they're done now. There we go. Hello. And away we go. Goodbye. We'll pay that loan. Extend that loan. Yeah, I think we managed to avoid the attrition tick there. That's nice. And I do believe that is this war concluded. And there we go. All right. Good stuff. Okay, so we can peace out now. Let's try and return as much as possible. So obviously, Bam was the war goal. Let's just see if we can. How, if we could, can we try and take all of it? Is there, can we restore everything to the Timurids? <laughs> we can. Every single province to the Timurids, we can restore. That is brilliant. Uh, do they have claims? Okay, now this is a bit silly. Let's. Just, 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 just give it to me. Come on, buddy. Why can't we take Tabriz? Oh, Tabriz is not a claim. Okay, that's fine. That's an Ethiopian claim. Hmm, that's annoying. Well, we can restore all those, and we'll just take those as well. And in fact, you know what I'll do? I'll just give that to the Timurids directly. Nice. And you know what, we might as well just give all of these to the Tamaris, really, if we can. Especially get rid of these goddamn mountain forts. Okay, there we go. And that's the limit. I think that's probably okay. And then we can just go cash. There's no need for war reps. That's fine. Basically putting the Tamaris at their height of their power. Ooh, we could try and grab Basra. No, we can't. That's okay. We can't grab Basra, that's fine. This is basically everything we could possibly want. A part of me does not want to return that. Could we instead... Could we not return Kilmanesh? Could we take that, please? Yes, we can take Gilan. Good. Because I, otherwise we're going to get borders with the Ottomans, and I really don't want that. So that would give us a coalition with Persia. Oh, wow. I don't give a shit. All right, there we go. 158 ducats and all these problems. There's basically everything that I could possibly want from Persia. Make sure everything's been returned to them. Yep. Perfect. Literally everything I could possibly want from that from that war. And now we can annex these guys. It would cost 2,500 diplo power. Okay. That is a very large amount of diplo power. Okie dokie. Owie. Owie, 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 owie. Right. Man man maintenance all the way down. You lads, let's get back over to Astrakhan. You guys. Look how they're influencing everybody, these bastards. Go that way. 
Nobles men, old rights. Monthly autonomy change, increase in boyer loyalty. Fine. I don't want to deal with my stability. Well, we uh, we absolutely goddamn wrecked them, that's for sure. And now we're going to get a chance to get some more money together. Alright, this is a really good end of the episode, guys. Uh, we just basically made the Timurids amazing. It's going to cost a billion double points to annex them. But to be honest, it would cost that much in, in uh, admin points as well. So now we're going to basically wait until we can declare war on the Commonwealth again. Which is... Nope, that's Russia. I'm clicking on Russia. Uh, 1585, so two years' time. Which will give me a little bit of time to get back like 20, 30,000 manpower, and we'll just fight them again. That'll be fine. So make sure to check out that next episode of the series, and of course, as well as that, all the other series I have going on as well. Do also subscribe to me on Patreon if you'd like to have your name at the end credits, and also if you want to support the channel further. Leave a like and comment, let me know what, let me, let me, let me, let me, and let me know what you think of the new haircut and also of the video series in general. I was Aldrin, and I'll continue to be, and this has been some European Missiles for the Rome, Russia. Bye bye.